question before the body is a rejection of Assembly Substitute Amendment 1 to Senate Bill 1. Gentlelady from the 71st. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I entered this body as a new member of the Assembly with great pride and great honor. Today, I stand before you all in great distress. Really? Distress that the Wisconsin Assembly could consider and probably pass a bill with such devastating consequences to our shared natural resources and to the people of Wisconsin, the people we represent. This bill stands to be the most destructive bill to our shared resources in our state's recent history. Proponents of this bill say it provides certainty to the mining company, while the only certainty that this bill provides is the certainty of lawsuits because this bill directly violates the Wisconsin state constitution, the one that we swore to uphold, the one that I swore to uphold just two months ago. Mr. Speaker, it is no secret that the author of this bill has recently said that it was the legislature's intent to allow for adverse environmental impacts. Uh -huh. That way a judge can't find fault if mm -hmm. the environment is impacted. This bill was written knowing that protecting our natural resources would take a back seat to an out-of-state mining company and that lawsuits were inevitable. Many people have said that today and many people will continue to from both sides because they are. Back when the governor was working on this bill, with the Department of Natural Resources and several different attorneys from Gogebic Taconite to draft this mining bill, the DNR informed the governor and its background brief on the mining bill of the following. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to ask for unanimous consent to read from time to time from a written document. And I'd also like Without to ask objection. for your attention. Thank you very much. The proposed legislation recognizes mining operations are unique due to the location of metallic ore bodies. Unlike other business operations where alternative sites can be possible, mining operations cannot be relocated, and as a result, environmental impacts may be unavoidable. This is what the DNR said to the governor when they were drafting the bill. What kind of environmental impacts are unavoidable? How about filling in navigable waters with thousands of tons of waste rock, even though it directly violates our Wisconsin state constitution through the public trust doctrine? The DNR in this same memo stated that the mining bill contains provisions that could allow for the filling of more navigable waters than would be allowed under current law, once again, in direct violation of our constitution. This is the very document and department they'll be responsible for regulating this mine, but the DNR will be losing their right to intervene when danger is present once this bill is passed. This bill would prohibit the Department of Natural Resources from stepping in to stop activities they found to be dangerous to the public health and the environment. So they've lost the ability to stop dangerous activities once this bill passes. They also can continue permitting, even if it is harmful to the public. In the same memo the DNR wrote to the governor, they state that a high capacity well permit may be issued even if it will result in unreasonable detriments to the public or private water rights, as long as the DNR decides that public benefits resulting from the mining operation exceed any injury to public rights and interests in a body of water that is affected by the mining operation. So should we, the state government, decide that a mining operation takes precedent over the public rights and injury to the public, then that's fine. So that's why I'm here today. That is why I'm distressed, because there are serious issues with this bill. Is this enough evidence that this bill is about prioritizing a mining operation over injury to public rights, public health, and the public interest? There's more. Under this bill, if there is a conflict between a provision of the iron mining laws and in another state environmental law, the provision in the iron mining law prevails. The mining laws trump our environmental laws. The DNR is not allowed to intervene when an activity endangers us. Yet we're ignoring our constituents' health and public opinion, which is overwhelmingly opposed to the mine. All for what? 
for a law that governs all mines in the state written for an out-of-state company. This sets a dangerous precedent. This precedent says it's perfectly acceptable to write a bill for an out-of-state company and strip away our most important environmental provisions, the ones our state has been proud to uphold for hundreds of years, the ones that keep us alive. This bill is about minimizing responsibility to maximize profits, all for the false promise of jobs that will never come. Mr. Speaker, 99% of my constituents from central Wisconsin who contacted me are strongly and passionately opposed to this mine, and that's why I'm standing here today to talk to all of you. The will of the people is the law of the land. I will say that again, the will of the people not the mining company, is the law of the land. I challenge you all to do the right thing today and to support this amendment, which is a clear alternative to this destructive bill and which will keep environmental protections in place. From the very beginning of the discussions on the, on the bill, which I've followed very closely, many of you have proudly asserted that there will be no changes to environmental standards. We should all be proud to support this bill because the environment will be protected. Well, if you don't believe everything that I just told you, which is all directly from the bill, I just want to challenge you guys today. I want to challenge you to make good on that. I want you to prove to me, the onus is on you, to show me that that water will not be polluted. I challenge you to visit every mining site cited, cited by Senate Bill 1 should it pass today. I challenge you to go up there if, should it, the mine make the Pinocchies. I challenge you to go to the Baraboo Hills should the mine make the Baraboo Hills. I challenge you to go to every single mining site you so proudly want to see in our state. And I challenge you to go to the nearest watershed and drink from that watershed or drink from that private well nearest the mine and see if there's any tailings contaminants. See if you can actually drink eight ounces of water from that because that's what the people in this state will have to live with. And should you not have to, they still do. So please make good on that promise to me that there are no changes in the environmental standards. I'd like to see it. And you can start by drinking a glass of water from the nearest watershed. When the Bad River Tribe testified so passionately and with such great candor at the only mining bill hearing they had this session, they testified from a place of truth. They talked about their wild rice beds. They talked about their families. They talked about their water. And you know what they said? They said that supporting this bill would be equivalent to genocide. And I'm saying that today because they said it and you should listen to them. Polluting an entire watershed for profit is contributing to genocide, and history is on their side. But history will remember us as the legislature that placed Wisconsin on the auction block, the one that decided that we could stop protecting our people. If you vote for this bill, if you forget about the people and vote for the small profits, you and the State Assembly will be remembered in history, in shame. Give me chills. Thank you. Good job. Thank you.